Hi guys, zoom in. I want to talk about is uh, God's love because um, I knew it as a young kid you know I, uh, I went to school I knew people went to church and uh, I got curious I asked my mom uh, you know what's church I don't know uh, why don't we go and she said um, you know that's where someone someone goes to talk to God and she said but you can do that whenever you want wherever you want so um, I had a lot of nightmares as a child uh, really scared of death and uh, so I started praying, you know, so I could get rid of the nightmares. It worked, you know, uh, relatively. Uh, <laughs> so there was a point where um, around sixth grade, um, a lot of things were happening. Uh, I had a cousin who killed himself, and uh, it laid heavy on my heart. So um, I got into um, myself. <laughs> so I got into smoking and uh, acting up, you know. Uh, got with, like, wrong people. Lasted all through high school. I was a smart kid, got A's and B's, never uh, messed up in my grades. So I thought, drugs isn't messing up my mind, it can't be that bad. But um, I got to the point where I wanted to experiment with my uh, spirituality. And uh, it got pretty serious pretty fast because uh, I knew the power of love. And I always have. So I used it to manipulate people and I would use it in my dreams and. I would, uh, there's, there's strong power, you could do so much, and, um, I, I knew about, uh, black magic, white magic, and I got into it, you know, and uh, I used it to cheat on a test one time, which, the, I remember that day, like, blew my mind that it actually worked for me, and it, it was, like, a really, I mean, there was a lot of wake-up calls I had, but I was like, you know, if I'm using this, and it's working for me, why would it matter, you know, but, um, my mind kind of swallowed itself up. I started feeling super guilty for everything I've done and there was a point where I mean I was yelling out to God and asking him like help me because I was really lost and um, I had to go to the hospital I was in a deep depression and uh, they put me on pills and I was seeing things I felt like I was in a different world and uh, the, the doctors thought I had schizophrenia I looked up the medicine they gave me and they thought I had schizophrenia and it was uh, it really bothered me that they were saying like all these things. They didn't even tell me they were just giving me this medicine that I didn't want to take, and it was just getting me angry. And um, you know, just recently, I, I uh, late August, I started coming to this church on a regular. You know, my brother Missile was here for a while, and uh, you know, I seen the change in him, and I wanted to change in me. And uh, I started to get to know Christ a little more, and I never really respected what he did for us. You know, like he. He gave his life. He went through all that torture for the people he loved, and it was, it was just, it's ridiculous, you know. Like you don't, you don't think about it. You weren't there, so it's like, why does it matter? He's just another guy. No, he was the perfect person. He was God incarnate. It was like, he did something great for us. You know? And um, yeah. So um, I also had a friend uh, recently die, and uh, I was just, I prayed for him a lot. I had a dream with him. Uh, actually, I seen his spirit, and he was happy. He hugged me. And I know he's in a good place, even though he might have not knew the Lord. Uh, I don't even know. You know, I knew the people he hang out with, and those are people who I strayed from. So I'm just happy that, you know, I know he's okay because the Lord tells me things. And um, I, I wrote a little poem. Uh, it's called God's Deal. So, um, yeah, I'll just uh, start this out with um, John 3.30. More of him, less of me. The deal. Life or death. I seek ears open, heart ready, determined to be a great man. As it stands, I'm nearing my goal. I got a car, some money, good friends, but all have to an, yeah, all have an end. Please praise Jesus. See, my mind in death remembers my debt. It wasn't apparent to me till I gave up love for my own way. Fast pace, no face, praise, no question. Just control my destiny. Cover sin with sin, I'll be okay just then. What would I be? Where would I be? Follow dark till my days resembled night. See, my dreams gave me leave, believe to succeed. In turn, I use faith to cheat, use dark magic to benefit through Christ irrelevant. Use heaven and hell in my hand, but the deception ran, my mind became engulfed, drowning in its own logic. Truth is, there is no control on good and bad. Consequence doesn't ignore sheer impotence. Using my ignorance, 
as a device to distance myself from the love of the creator? I was a hater in my own right, lover in my produced strife, greedily seek gain early proverbs, just saying. Ignoring and straying, leaves one lost and paying, a debt so old relaying images of my lost ones just praying. Pleading, mistakes forgiven, oh Lord, why Jay, he was in the dark. I prayed and prayed, realizing I missed his wake. I was working and thought, why must life continue even when one is so is lost so abruptly? It seems so quickly, do they forget? The light was risen by his crucifixion. Guess it was, guess I was just hoping the dark wasn't there. That there was no hate, hurt, or fear. Just love and miracle heals. How real to you is God's deal? Thank you.